three, two. Wait, there, three. Wait, that wasn't a plan. There we go. Three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Wolfie here. We are back now. First thing you want to do on this video, as always, is hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. And of course, last but not least, my Twitch and my Twitter channels are down in the description below. www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf and www.twitter.com forward slash Connor Wolf 1995. And of course, yes, we are now officially on TikTok. We've been on there for about five days, I think now. I think we're well over a thousand followers. So big ups for you guys that are showing love on the TikTok. Link, of course, to my TikTok is down in the description below. So if you want to go drop that follow as well, I will be massively appreciative. But without any further ado, intro done, finito. What we have got for you today, YouTube, is my uh, pay to win foot champions highlights. And in this video, I'm just going to talk to you guys about what which team of the year I think is the best because uh, if you guys haven't already, then make sure you go and check out my team. My team is disgusting. Okay, like my team is worth well over, I think it's about 50 million coins now. So we've got Prime R9, team of the year Ronaldo. I play 5 3 2 with Prime R9, team of the year Ronaldo up front. My three midfielders are Prime Pele. Um, team of the Year, Bruno Fernandes and 90 Rude Hullet. My right wing back in the 5-3-2 is Team of the Year, Kylian Mbappe. My three centre backs are Team of the Year, Virgil van Dijk. Team of the Year, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Prime Rio Ferdinand. My left wing back is then Team of the Year, Alfonso Davies. And my keeper is then 84 rated Nick Pope. So what I'm going to show for you guys is just in terms of these foot champions highlights. I'm just going to show you... And give you my opinion and advice why my foot champs like goes on in the background. Which team of the year cards I think are the best? And in t well, out of the ones that I've used, I haven't used De Bruyne, I haven't used Kimmich, and I haven't used Lewandowski. Yeah, so I haven't used De Bruyne, I haven't used Kimmich, and I haven't used Lewandowski because I think them three are the worst team of the years anyway. I think Lewandowski has got a place in terms of like if you are someone that doesn't really use skill moves, etc. Then I definitely think that um. Team of the Year Lewandowski would be a beast up front, but for someone like me that likes to do skill moves with my attackers and stuff like that, Team of the Year Lewandowski will just be uh -uh, an absolute no-go. Team of the Year Kimmich, though, a, no a notable option. I think Team of the Year Kimmich would be very, very, very good. I think Team of the Year Kimmich would have everything you'd want. I think you could play him anywhere. You could play him centre-back, CDM, centre-mid. I think Team of the Year Kimmich could just go absolutely anywhere. And then Team of the Year, De Bruyne, I think he's just a just a not as good version of Bruno, really. That's why I don't have him in my team. But in terms of the Team of the Years that I do have, okay, so I'll start off with I'll start off with the lowest value, okay, actually. Yeah. I'll start off with the lowest value. I'll go Trent Alexander Arnold. Okay. Now this card surprised me a hell of a lot because he's not got Team of the Year Trent doesn't actually have the best stats, really. I mean, I know he's got insane stats, like a lot of good stats. But he doesn't really have many insane stats, in my opinion. So I was very surprised, actually, to use him as centre-back and stuff like this. So I'm kind of thinking, man, this card is good. Like, this card is genuinely, like, Team of the Year Trent, no cap, is my favourite centre-back on this game at this moment in time. Like, he's, he's genuinely got everything. Like, he's rapid. He can do everything. Like, he honestly, I promise you, Team of the Year Trent as centre-back is a 9 out of 10. Especially for, I think you could pick him up for right now on Xbox, like, 950,000 coins. Like... He's insane value for money as well. Like, considering how expensive some of the other team of the year cars are that I'm using, you know, like Ronaldo and stuff like this, and Bruno that's super expensive, blah, 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 blah. He's really good value. And I definitely think if you guys would be looking to play him, I wouldn't really play him, though, if I were you. I wouldn't play him at fullback. I don't think he's quick enough, really, to be a fullback. That is one thing I will say. If you are looking to pick up team of the year Trent, I would recommend you guys using him in like centre midfield or centre back, stuff like that. That'd be definitely something that I'd recommend for you guys. Now then, who else we got? So I'm gonna go, I'm trying to work it in value smallest to highest. Who's the I wanna say it's Davies after Yeah, it's Davies, right? After Right, team yeah, I think it's team of the year Davies in terms of like value. But team of the year Alfonso Davies up next. What a card. All I'm gonna say to you guys is what a card. Honestly, Team of the Year Alfonso Davies can do everything. Like, anything and everything that you want, 
Alfonso Davies has got it. I promise you. You can play him left wing, left back, centre back, CDM, cam, striker. Probably, like, I probably wouldn't really recommend him to be striker, actually. But honestly, you can play him absolutely anywhere. He is hands down my favourite left back I've used. 1,000 trillion billion percent the best left back on the game. He's just got absolutely everything. He's rapid. It, there isn't anything bad about Alfonso Davies. Like, the, seriously, there is nothing bad about him at all. There really isn't. I think... In terms of value for coins, he's probably the best team of the year for value for coins. I think right now he's like 1.5 million coins. I mean, and I, I'm guessing a lot of people, if they're buying team of the year Alfonso Davies, I think I think team of the year Alfonso Davies is probably the best value for coins. I think a lot of people won't be using him at left back. Like I use him left wing back in a 5-3-2, but if any of you guys are using my custom tactics in the 5-3-2, then you know that my wing backs are basically wingers. They're not they're not left back or full back. They're, they're literally wingers, right? So that is something that definitely I feel you guys would look at. He's the perfect wing back in a 5-3-2. So let's not get twisted. As a, as a wing back in a 5-3-2, he's got absolutely everything. I love him. But you see there, R9. What a player he is. Jeez Louise. But now, in terms of other value. Oh, Van Dyke. Yep, I do have Virgil Van Dyke in my team as well. Team of the year. What a card. My favourite centre back on the game. Him and Trent are like... Honestly, I would love him and Trent in a 2 if I play 4 back. They're, them two would probably be the two centre backs that I use. They are insane, man. Like that. Team of the year, Virgil Van Dyke is literally. Do you remember last year on FIFA 19 when we had um, Team of the Year Virgil Van Dyke and how broken he was, etc. Last year, well, I promise you, this year he's exactly the same. He's he's rapid. He's strong. He's got a good body type. He wins 50-50s. He wins tackles that arguably he probably shouldn't win. Like. Seriously, the card has just got everything you need from a centre-back. He wins headers. Oh, oh, what a card. I can't recommend Team of the Year Virgil van Dijk enough. I know he is very expensive, and I know probably a lot of people won't be... I, I would probably suggest that a lot of people... The, the centre-backs would be the last upgrade they would make on the team. And I would normally agree with that, but then having used these Team of the Years, right... Having used the team of the year centre backs, ooh, ooh, ooh. jeez man, they are incredible. Believe you me. Now Van Dyke, I'd probably give. Oh wait, I didn't give a rating for Alfonso Davies. I'd probably give him a ten out of ten, no cap, like ten out of ten for Alfonso Davies. And for Van Dyke as well, I'd give him a ten out of ten. They are the perfect FIFA players. Like they've just got absolutely everything you need. End of story. Now, my favourite team of the year card. Okay, my favourite team of the year card. Ooh, ooh. Bruno, Bruno Fernandes. There's one word that can sum this card up about half of our means the video. We're halfway decent. Good timing. There's literally one word I can get tell you about team of the year, Bruno, and that is just wow. Literally, just wow. I promise you. Wow. This card does absolutely. Every, by the way, he did me with that scoop turn, fair play. The team of the year, Bruno, has just got absolutely everything you would ever need from a card on FIFA Armour team ever. He's rapid. He's strong. He's big. He's amazing on the ball. He's got a good shot on him. He finishes every one-on-one -on -one he has. He's really clean on the ball. He's got four-star skill moves. He can defend well. Everything you want from team of the year, Bruno. Team of the year, Bruno, is officially the perfect centre mid. I, I never thought I'd ever say this about Bruno, okay? I, like, I didn't think... I didn't think I'd say this about Bruno, but Team of the Year Bruno Fernandes is better than 90 Rude Hullet. And I, I seriously, I didn't think there would ever be a centre midfielder that tops Rude Hullet on this FIFA. I really didn't. I thought that Team of the Year Bruno would be good. And I knew I knew he'd be good. Right, let's not get to this. Like, I knew he'd be good, but I didn't think he'd be up there with Hullet. But never mind, then even better. But my God, he's better than he's better than 90 Hullet, I promise you. He's so good. I, I love him. 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 Now, to my right wing back, rating for Bruno, by the way. I, I can't recommend him enough. But if you guys can't afford the team of the year, because I know he's very expensive, I think he's like 4 million. I think something stupid like that. He's never leaving my team, so I brought him and I don't really check the prices because these team of the years are never really going to leave my team until team of the season anyway. So I don't really check their prices too much at the moment. But you see that from Bruno. Look. Oh, oh wait. Oh, yeah, I remember this game. This game was so rigged. But, um,. Yeah, one thing I would say though, guys, is if you can't afford the team of the year, try and do the player of the month. I would say do the night. Is it 92? I want to say, let me know in the comment section. Is it the 92 player of the month one? Yeah, do the 92 player of the month one. Honestly, like, 
the team of the year is amazing and probably my favorite team of the year card but at the same time you guys will be like seriously waiting a hell of a long time for him right so just just do do the player of the month one if you can't afford the team of the year do the player of the month one uh, now, in t uh, for rating out of Bruno though, a, a million out of ten. Literally, my f my fav my personal favourite team of the year card. M M is Ronaldo, yeah. like the, R Ronaldo and Bruno are very different, but I love them both at the same time. Do you kind of get where I'm coming from? It's kind of mental. You see there, Bruno. You see Bruno score a lot of goals to me, by the way. These are just my first ten games. I'm gonna try and get my second ten and my last ten out for you guys as well. But ten, yeah, ten out of ten for Bruno. Now, in terms of my right wing back, yes. Team of the year, Kylian Mbappe playing as a right wing back. Never, never in my life. I'll, I'll tell you, my tic, the TikTok community hate me for it, but we're, we're trendsetters around here, okay? We're trendsetters. Uh, team of the year, Mbappe. I love him. I love him. I don't think he's a mate. That was a nice bit of dribbling there, by the way. I don't think he's an amazing striker because I have used him as a striker a few times just to like um. Just to try him out, because a lot of people are telling me that he's amazing at front, blah, blah, blah. And when I used him, the problem I've got him, the problem I've got is he's not replacing Prime R9, and he's not replacing Team of the Year Ronaldo up front, right? So, that's the problem I've got. Every time I used him, Mbappe, I'm like, well, I'd rather use Team of the Year Ronaldo, right? Like, he's just better, no? So, yeah, that's the problem I always have. But Team of the Year Mbappe is the perfect winger, in my opinion. He's got everything you'd want from a winger. Rapid, five-star skill moves. Bloody bloody block and finish most chances. Everything you'd ever really want. Ronaldo, a bit of cheese there. Thank you very much. Yeah, everything you'd want from a winger, he has got in abundance. That is something that I can't express anymore. I don't think he, in my humble opinion, I personally don't think Team of the Year killing Mbappe is worth the coins that he is at the moment. I think he's coming in right now about like. I don't, I don't, to be honest, I don't even know how much he is. But I don't think he's worth the coins. If I didn't have my super duper duper team, team of the year killing Mbappe would probably be the last team of the year I'd buy. Because I just don't think he's worth it at all. Like, at all, at all, at all. Now, in terms of strikers, last but not least, 98 rated team of the year Cristiano Ronaldo. What a card, honestly. If you think Bruno's good, and Bruno is good. Like, Bruno is insane, actually. Like... Ronaldo is different level. Like Bruno's probably my favourite card, and I think it's just because Bruno's got that. Like I like having my midfielder that can score goals, and Bruno does that for me. Whereas like Ronaldo though, Ronaldo's just broken, man. Like let's not get anything twisted right now. This team of the year, Cristiano Ronaldo, is one of the most broken cards I've ever seen. By the way, this goal was really nice. I remember this goal. This goal was like a really nice team goal. Uh, team of the year, Ronaldo is like arguably one of the most broken cards I've, I've played with this year. He's just got everything. He's rapid. He's tall, he's strong, he finishes literally every single chance you have on the game. He finishes it without a shadow of a doubt. It's a goal. It's literally a goal. Okay, so you, you get into a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. No matter what bull cheese is happening in the game, he scores it. Simple as that. And it really is that simple. He's so good. So, so good. And I know a lot of you guys, though, probably won't be able to afford the team of the year Ronaldo, will you? Like, let's, let's be real. You guys probably won't be able to afford the team of the year Ronaldo, so... Just believe you me, though, the card is broken. Now, what would I rank my team of the years that I've used? So, I've used Ronaldo, Bruno, Mbappe, Van Dijk. Wait, Ronaldo, Bruno, Mbappe, Van Dijk, Davies, Trent. I've used six of them, right? I haven't used Neuer. I haven't used... Wait, I haven't used Neuer. I haven't used Kimmich. I haven't used Lewandowski. Who's the, and I haven't used the Bruyne. Okay, so how would I rank the five or six that I've used in that order? In, and I'm going to bring everything into account. Okay, so when I when I mean everything into account, I mean absolutely everything from in terms of how much they how much they cost, how they all play in game, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. You get the logist. Now number one. Okay, so the best team of the year when you add everything in there, and I'm adding everything in there into or. Yeah, I'll add everything in. Then I'll just add like in terms of if money's not an issue. But in terms of if money is a bit of an issue. Number one team of the year, Bruno Fernandes. Okay, unbelievable card. Just number one. He's number one. Number uno. Number two, a funny one that you might not realise, Alfonso Davies. You can play him anywhere and he's amazing. He's seriously, like, he's cracked. Like, Alfonso Davies is seriously, like, insane. Like, insane. Number three, Cristiano Ronaldo. I know, obviously, a lot of you guys, excuse me, won't be able to afford him, but he's so good. He has to be up there. Like, I'm sorry, he just has to be up there. End of story. Number four, Trent Alexander-Arnold. I love him. Love him, love him, love him. Insane. Especially if you guys are thinking about using him at centre-back. Definitely use him. He's so, so good. And 
I would then put Van Dijk just below Trent. Again, I think centre-backs are the last position you guys need to improve on the game. So that's why I'm putting Virgil down there. And then Mbappe is probably the least val best coin for coin value that I've used this year. Because I just don't really think he's... Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Mbappe is good. I just don't think he's anywhere near worth the coins. That's the issue that I've got. So that's how I would do it, guys. But as we now go into our last game... Well, I think we are 9-0 at the moment. Let me know as well. Are you guys... Because I haven't done Foot Champs highlights in a very long time, actually. So, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these Foot Champs highlights. Would you guys want to see at least, like, two of these? I'm thinking, like, at least at least one a week anyway. So, I, I always at least then put in my... Um, put in, like, my last 10 games so you guys can see where I finish on the weekend league with my pay-to-win account and stuff like that. We do go one the up with R9. R9 is insane, by the way. One thing that I'll say in terms of like, because I've got the Prime R9 and not the 94 anymore. And one thing I'll say about R9 is the Prime R9 is quite a bit better than the 94, actually. Like, the Prime R9 is so much better on the ball. He's genuinely like, he's dribbling and stuff like this is insane. And this goal was nasty, by the way. Look at this. Oh, sit down, my guy. Sit down, my guy. That is what you call a goal. And did my man quit at that point? Nah, surely he didn't quit at 2-0. But yeah, uh, one thing I say is R9's a lot better. The 532 is working tremendously. I love the 532. We are still on for top 100 at the moment as I'm recording this on Saturday night. So I don't know where I finished yet. But that does take us to 10 and 0, guys. If you did enjoy this video, then of course, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. But of course, that is 4pm UK time every single day without fail. Twitch, Twitter, TikTok down in the description below. Comment if you do enjoy these RTG, uh, if you do enjoy these Foot Champions highlights with the pay to win account. P remember, look, spread the peace and love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.